morning. Well, this is another day. Good evening, good afternoon, good <laughs> now, wherever <laughs> you are. <laughs> Whichever side of the hemisphere you're on. That's it. Uh, but it's good morning here in East Africa. Ah, uh, yes. yes Karibu yes, Nisana, yes. welcome again to this edition of That Show. Of that Show. Today we're talking about business. <laughs> That's yeah. what we talk about on Wednesdays. Yeah, Monday, yeah? Wednesdays. Exactly. <laughs> Every Wednesday here at Galactic Productions on That Show. Yeah. With her herself, our proverb, and me myself, Night at Yeno. And you over there, our fan. Eh, Karibu Nisana, <laughs> thank you so much for those who keep joining us, who keep sharing, oh, who keep tagging, who keep hosting, supporting us, party. hosting watch parties, oh nini nini, God. such like things. I know, you know? I know. We are growing, we are growing uh -huh. because <laughs> of you people. That's Som it. Sometimes I get overwhelmed and like, uh, with emotions. Uh -huh. I'm like, hey, Mazejo, this guy is, this guy is, you check in like this and there are people who check in with you and you're like, that's it. Wow. <laughs> this is beautiful. Thank you so much. That is very encouraging from you guys. We I know, right? Thank you so much for that. We're very much appreciative. Right. Today, I have put on my Facebook that I recommend that you take pen and paper. <laughs> Please. I'm not even joking. Like, today is full of information. Today is if you day. don't have pen and paper, you might feel a bit overwhelmed. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that is a health warning. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, um, today we're going to talk about some really, really, really good topics, mm. um, starting uh, with uh, investments mm. and trends. Mm. Yeah, a lot of people um, invest because um, someone else has done it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yes. Like uh, we've seen a lot of trends coming and going, and uh, people will blame whoever asked them to to join yeah. a certain club or. Yeah. Um, certain uh, someone uh, like now a lot of people build greenhouses, mm, mm. not knowing the what am I building? Yeah, this what is yeah, what what goes into it? You know what I mean? Like without doing the research. Uh, quail. Yeah. Ah, boy. You know what I mean? That one, that one, that one burnt a lot of people. Those, those Bitcoin. Of, uh, Bitcoin. Aye. You know, there's there's so many of them by uh, the way. Exactly. So um, and and we we had a uh, a day here when we spoke about just not just but then we spoke about uh, multi level marketing mm. companies and the pros and cons and what and why falls and all of that. Mm. Um, and basically, what we were saying is, do your due diligence, yes. you know, yeah. do your research. Mm. Don't just jump into something because my friend did because it and yes, they and succeeded. It yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. Seek professional advice if you need to. Sure. If you want to go into the stock market, if you want to go into bonds, all of this stuff, yeah. look for somebody who knows what they're talking yeah, about. Go yeah, to a broker, yeah. go to, you know, yeah. speak to somebody who knows what they're talking about. And not just somebody who knows who is a professional in what they're talking about, but also somebody who invests in the same way as you exactly. want to invest. You cannot speak to a mortgage advisor who themselves don't believe in mortgages <laughs> in and mortgages. does not have yes. a mortgage mm -hmm. or only takes a mortgage with the company that they work with. You see what I mean? Yeah. Because that's that's somebody who doesn't go and shop around. Yes. That is somebody who can't give you sound advice, really mm. objective adv advice, mm. because they're only selling a product for the company yes, that for the they company. work yes. with. So probably they even bought it because they work for exactly. that company. So you're, 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 you're maybe even they got incentives to get a mortgage with that company. Mm. Mm. You're better off going to an indi independent advisor yes. who will then talk to you about this company does ABCD. Yes. They will give you a full, it's better to pay that money yes. to somebody independent, but also remember, yes. always go to somebody who yes. also yes. invests yes. in the same way that you want to invest. Exactly. Go to somebody who is in synergy yes. with you. Yes. You know, there's yes. no point going to somebody who will give you advice that you cannot take. That you can't it's a waste of money. Yes. Yeah. Because probably you'd even find that um, for somebody who's invested in, in that thing that you also want to invest in, yeah, they they went on ahead because before they invested in that, they did their research, they yeah. did everything, so they know how how the, how the thing works, what mm. to do, what not to do. Mm. So at least you're safer with yes. somebody like that because at least you know that's a sure bet. Like if I put my money here, this guy put his money there, at least yes. it's a risk he took. Yes. You just can't throw your money. Yes. Yeah, so... Be very careful who advises you <laughs> about exactly. your finances because because the, the people out here who just it's it's their job yeah. to sell you financial advice yeah but they don't even follow that advice themselves exactly so like like when we were talking about savings a few weeks ago yeah. and I went into a bank yeah. to in inquire <laughs> about their savings account and yeah. stuff yeah and this lady at the counter she was a teller and she said to me well 
if you're going to invest below a certain point, there's no there's point. No point. I'm like, there's always a point. There's always a point, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're even here. Exactly. Even if it's at 2%, even yes. if it's at 0.2%, yes. it is better than putting it in a mattress account. Exactly. exactly. You know? Whatever it is, also, what you d you've done is you put that money away from your hands. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Because when you have it, the chances are it's going to You're going to spend it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So... No. Kidogo, research, especially in, bu uh, in, bus in business, when mm. we talk about business and we talk about investing, ask yourself, mm. why am I doing this? Mm. Would, you say, would you say it's safe when, say, like the way you met that lady and mm. she told you that, would you say it's, it's safe at least, um, fine, you put into consideration what she said, but yeah. you go on ahead and consult from a second or a third person? I think um, Cause you should easily, never. Because easily somebody might walk away thinking, ah, she said, it's, there's no point, and then you'd find well that somebody carries, uh, if carries if that and goes Well, uh, that person is stupid then. <laughs> that person should not be investing. That person should go get a job, spend all their salary, yeah. and forget about it. <laughs> no, it's true. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, if you're going to get um, dissuaded yes. because one teller yeah. told you something, this is not even a mortgage advisor in mm. this company, this is not a broker for any of their shares or any of their other financial <laughs> instruments, this is somebody sat behind a till serving gotcha. people giving the money taking money this is not somebody who has who has been employed mm. to give you financial advice mm. so if you're going to be that person who walks away and completely walks away and doesn't invest because one person in one bank told you mm. one thing yeah then you go around saying ah, these forget banks, about these guys, investing guys, it's really not for it's you it's not for you because that <laughs> means it's it's the same as business yeah. if you're going to walk into business yeah. and then the first hurdle you hit you know, business is not for the faint-hearted. Ah, definitely not. Definitely not. There's too many things. There's too. There's too many things. It's 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 a bit gruesome if you call it. Nine in ten businesses <laughs> fail in the first year. Ninety percent. Yep. First and second year, ninety percent. Mm. So if you start a business today with ten other people, mm. chances are only one of only you. Only one of you is going to succeed. Will still be going. In two years' time. <laughs> It's definitely not for the faint-hearted. So not. if you think that you are not one of those, mm -hmm. if you think that in your head you cannot even fathom the thought that you will be one yeah. in ten, aye. Aye. find a job. Find a job. Find something else that is going to give you a salary so that you can... Find a job. <laughs> be secure in your job. Forget about business mm -hmm. because it's not, it's not for, for you. you. Yeah. Because it's business requires discipline. Mm. Business requires consistency. Yes, Business requires consistency, discipline, resilience, accountability. Yeah. A lot of people, a lot of people just see the icing on the cake. They don't see the work that goes into it. You know what they I mean? They think they think uh, you set up a business today and you start eating tomorrow. You start eating tomorrow. It's a lie. It's a lie. There's 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 so many things that go into it. And especially the discipline part. I think yeah. once you don't lock the discipline bit, uh, it's and you lot. have to be willing to learn mm. in business. Yes, have an because open mind. Because imagine you are one person yes. with a very finite, mm. very limited mm. a set of skills. Because if you imagine a big business, once your business grows, yeah. you will have many different departments. Sure. But when you're starting, you're one person who needs to do all the accounting, yes. who needs to do all the marketing, yes. who needs to do all, all the, the advertising. Yes. You need to purchase, you need to sell, yes. you need to negotiate, you need to do all these things. Like literally, you're the company. You you're need everywhere. to be willing to learn mm. and sacrifice on the job. Yes. If you're not willing to learn, if you're not willing to invest in yourself to learn, mm. basically think about it this way. When you want to start a business, think about your skills that you already have. Yes, what's your skill set? Exactly. Yes. Think about those skills and think about the skills that you don't have. Mm. And then think and about then how do I go about learning mm -hmm. these skills. Yes. Do I need to go to a company that will teach me yes. how to do my accounting or do I need to hire an accountant? To hire an accountant, yes. Because when you're starting off, you just need basic bookkeeping. Mm. How much is how much am I starting with? Yes. What's what's my what are my assets? Yeah. How much is coming in? Mm -hmm. How much That's is going out? Yes. Am I making a profit or not? If mm -hmm. I'm not making a profit yet, what do I need to do to, to get profitable? Profit. Yes. Mads, mads, mads. It's really not that <laughs> difficult. Yeah. It's 
simple but, but not, not easy. Yeah. You know. And again, learning on the job. You have to be like willing learning, to learn. Learning on the job, yeah, because you can imagine you you come in um say you you don't want, you don't want to sit down and and do the hard work let me call it yeah say like accounting mm -hmm. like you said you need um what do you call it the normal bookkeeping uh, yeah. skill yeah yeah but say somebody doesn't want to do that because they're like hi hey, it's too much for me because yeah. probably they're running everything else yeah and they decide to bring in an accountant yeah Either way, you still need to sit down there because there's things you'll, you'll be explained to because this is your company, this yeah. is your baby, this is you raising this child. So there's things, there's ins and outs that you need to know. Yeah. Yeah. So at least I, I think like people, people should take time like because you'd hire somebody and somebody's that you'd get swindled, you'll get funny advice that is probably going to run your thing to the ground. Yeah. So. But take also, time. what yeah. you have to remember is we live in, a, in an age of technology. Mm. And out here, there's really, really, really sophisticated uh, accounting packages, yes. software, yes. like QuickBooks, like Sage, mm. you know. Yeah. And, and these things, or even just a normal, s a simple Excel spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Learn how to use Excel in a very simple way. As I said, yes. it's very simple. Mm. This is what I'm starting with. This is my plan. This is what is coming in on a daily. This is what is going mm. out on a daily. At the end of the week or at the end of the month, do your math. Mm. And then plan for the next week or the next month. It's really, really, really very simple. It's simple. But it's not easy. <laughs> because, as I said, you need consistency. If you're going to do this every week, do it every week. It every yeah? week you need resilience. Mm. When things are not working, do I have the heart to stay with this <laughs> thing? Yeah, you know, yeah. you need the discipline to wake up week in week out yeah. day in day out through the good the bad if you walk outside you need to wake up whether the sun is shining or, or not Drake, you wake up beba umbrella mbuwe kinyesha beba umbrella you know what i mean yeah. literally get ready yeah. to fight when you start a business you're going to war yeah, you're going to war and that's what a lot of people don't realize. Mm. A lot of people leave their jobs and start a business thinking that it's going to be easy. It's not yeah, the it's easy option. It's never easy. It's never easy. Like you said, there's, there's, there's too much that goes into it. You need to be resilient. Yeah. You need the discipline. Because if, if you can't keep your boots yes. every week or yes. every day, yes. you're, 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 you're just floating yeah. around. You don't know what you're doing. Because mm -hmm. it's like your values are not set. You don't know what your mission is. Yes. So you're just here existing exactly until until you create that discipline that i have to wake up early if you do your books in the morning if you do your books in the evening, make sure you do your books yeah every day or yeah. whatever time on time and Always if it's something sure. you don't enjoy to do i promise yes, you you're sir. better off getting somebody yes. to do it true because n we we as a business person you mm. will know the things that you enjoy to do mm. and the things that you don't mm. the things that you don't enjoy to do earn enough money quick enough to Employ give it to someone else yeah you know, yeah. and nowadays you have accountants who work for small businesses. Yeah, Look yeah. for an accountant who works for a small for small businesses, uh, SMEs, wi who will give you fair rates mm -hmm. and will work offsite. True. You know, yeah. because if, if this is somebody who works with small businesses, very often what they'll do is they will either make you a small spreadsheet yes. if you're a really small business, really small business. or they will uh, work with an accounting package. Mm -hmm which they will then have access to remotely yes. so they always know where your business is going. Mm, mm. You see what I mean? Yes. So really, your interaction with this person is minimal, mm -hmm. but their interaction with your business is constant. Yes, constant yes. Yes. So they can keep an eye on what your business is doing mm. on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis, mm. whichever way you agree with this person yes. will do. Mm. Bookkeepers are cheap compared to what they give to your business. Oh. Okay. Cheap is relative. Yes. <laughs> you know, yes. when you say cheap, someone thinks that I'm going to get them for nothing for or next free. to nothing. Mm -hmm. There are bookkeeping courses out here, but not everyone enjoys to do the math bit of business. Okay. So what That's I advise so you to do is if you're not good with numbers, if you're not good with money, from the get-go, find somebody, yes. usually yes. via recommendations, mm. Because you know that this person has worked for this I person. For I can see person, yes. what they're doing for their business. Exactly. You know, Thank ask you. for recommendations. Yes. Nothing you do in this world in terms of business, unless it's something that is so new mm -hmm. that you're inventing it, mm -hmm. has not been done by someone else. Yes. So other people worked before you. Mm -hmm. That's true. You're not the first to do so You're not the first to do a, bus a, a fitness 
camp. Yeah. You're not the first to do to have, a uh, a re to have a restaurant. You're not the first to sell vegan food. You're not the first to start a vegetarian restaurant. Exactly. You're not the first to have a, a snack bar. Uh, basically, you're not the first to the sell first juice. Somebody else. You're not the first to sell you. fish. Yes. You know. Yes. So most businesses have been done by somebody. True. And now with m a massive online community, mm -hmm. you will just go online, join a group, see the authenticity of this group. Don't just join any any old group just where they to like post and all and kinds of nonsense. bullshit and, and, and you don't agree with what they say a vast majority of the time and, and think that you're going to get a good advice from there. No. You know. If it's not growing, you leave. Yeah, that's like going to ask an alcoholic who is an active alcoholic <laughs> and uh, celebrates their alcoholism. Yeah. How do I stop drinking? How do I stop drinking? You're asking, you're seeking advice from the wrong person, man. You can ask them, how do I drink every day and avoid <laughs> hangovers? Because they're, they're, they're experts at that. But not how you to know stop what I mean? doing this exactly. It's like it's asking somebody with an addiction, how do I stop it? They don't know how to stop it. Otherwise, they would not have an addiction. They would have stopped it. You see? Yeah, so, so we have to be very careful in this day and age where we have so much information. Yeah. Where are we taking our information from? Mm. Who is giving it and why? Yes. Always ask why. why. Yeah. It doesn't matter what it is you're doing in business, ask why. Mm. It doesn't matter what deal it is somebody approaches you with, ask why. Ask why. Bottom ask line, ask, ask why. why. Why are you doing this? Why am you I know. getting this? Why do I have to apply this? Exactly. Why? Why? Now you've Why? started your business. You know it's going to be hard. Nah, it's exactly. not going to be easy. Yes. But what are the things that you think will lead you to success, to success? Or at least help you not to fail <laughs> and die and give up yeah. and go get a job? Yeah. By the way, if you're a real <laughs> entrepreneur, I, that's never even an option. Yeah. Giving up, giving exactly. up is not on the menu. That's cause it. Because every time you're thinking of getting a job, then you're like, I. Yeah. No, 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 no. Because at least you're used to running things. You've already created your discipline. You've already, your, your template is in place. Yeah. Yeah. So just executing like every day, because every day is, like you said, you're going to war. Yeah. So every day, everything comes at you differently. Yeah. yeah. So you have to, you have to make sure that your team is in check. Yeah. Yeah. Because say. That's like if you're lucky enough to have a team. <laughs> exactly. But yeah. Can you, you could be the team. <laughs> you're, 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 when you're starting, you're always the you're team. You're the team. <laughs> you're the person who walks in, sweeps. <laughs> You're the person who checks comes the in, lights, checks calls the customers, the facilities and gets to canward by the customers. Exactly. You're, you're you know? the receptionist, you're the security guard, you're, you're, you're the guy you're who the has manager. to check your social media, whether you like it or not. You know, you're, you're you in know. communications as well. So exactly. you, have to, you have to make sure at least like the team behind you yeah. or you, you plan your day properly. Yeah, but so what are the things that you think that creates that recipe for success or at least gives you the best chance, chances to succeed? in mm. business um again it's like just like i began with that um you need the the right talent yeah. for what you're doing yeah because say like like for fitness yeah you can't bring somebody who's and i'm here air quoting unfit mm. to run a fitness class yeah because again you have to you have to consume what you're trying to sell you have mm. to know what it's about because mm. i can't come in here and start telling you if I, as Fabs, can't come in and start telling you about accounting schools, oh my God, mm -hmm. oh my God, I can, I, mm, 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 mm. me and that avenue are like yeah. uh, distant relatives, and by distant I mean I'm away of this corner and it's on the other corner. Yeah. So at least, and we all have different strengths out here. Mm -hmm. um, I could be good in fitness, you're good in, in accounting, um, our producer is good at producing. Yes. So you, you need the right talent for every every duty yeah. everything that that needs the company to grow yeah because again if again like you said if you're lucky enough mm -hmm. to have a team yeah because sometimes you can't be the one person running everything yeah sometimes you will burn out sometimes maybe you don't you don't enjoy doing some things so yeah. it finds that some sides are going to be slacking a bit Okay. So you'd find if, if you can't, if you're not good in communications, yeah. maybe the communication bit, you're not reaching the clients enough or you're not, um, you're not selling enough, like uh, maybe, maybe online or yeah. on, the, on, the, on, the, on telemarketing or whichever way you choose to, yeah. you're not doing it enough mm -hmm. because you don't enjoy it. Okay. So if you can get somebody to do it. So identify the right people yes, for the right job. Yes. Personally, yeah. I've run many businesses mm -hmm. in, in, uh, in my life. Mm -hmm. Some of them successful, some of them not, because at yeah. uh, a certain point you will start a business and you will very quickly realize that uh, after a couple of years, this is not going to go anywhere. It's not mm -hmm. gaining any traction yes. for whatever reasons. Yeah. We will 
um, talk about the reasons why businesses fail mm. a, a little bit later in the show. Mm. But what I'd like to say to people is when you want to start in business, when you decide to leave that job for your business, mm. remember that it's going to be hard work, blood, sweat, and tears. You're going to have to step out of that comfort zone. You're going to have to sometimes live on a shoestring. Mm. It doesn't matter what your previous life mm. has been like. It doesn't matter what you're used to. Mm. It doesn't matter if you're used to driving big cars. It mi you might have to remortgage your home, so mm. a lot of stress. Yeah. You might have to sell that the big, big car. car to buy. Exactly. Yeah. Buy something smaller, Functional more, uh, you know. Yeah. Oh, and and, and you, you'll have to make a lot of sacrifices. Sacrifice, yeah. But above all, mm. consistency, resilience, yes. tenacity, discipline, accountability, and keep the faith. Never, ever, ever give up. Mm. It doesn't matter how hard time get, times get in business, yeah. and times will get hard. It will be so hard for a couple of years True. before it gets better. True. Imagine when you start a business, you're having a baby. Mm. <laughs> this thing, all it you does is take, take, take. Nope. Eat, shit, <laughs> sleep, <Sleeping>. cry, <laughs> shit. Eat, cry, <laughs> sleepless nights. <laughs> and guess what? You're there. Oh, you're on the other side, giving, 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 giving. Repeat, you're just repeat like F Monday to Monday, like yo. So for those people yeah. who think that being in business is easy, it's, it's not really easy. not. It's, not easy. it's, it's not simple. It's hard, but it's very simple because most businesses mm. to succeed, you just need to have a plan, True. stick to it. Change it when you need to mm. for most businesses to mm. succeed. Yeah. So what I always say to people is mm. it's very simple. Yeah. It's very simple to start a business in Kenya. But All you need to do, go on e-citizen, ah. apply, see if the name is available, yes. pay the money you need to pay, go to, if you have premises, mm -hmm. go to the city council, yeah. get your license, get your licenses, whatever you need, fire, yeah. Uh, call M S MCSK if you basically go get all the certificates that you need mm, to yes. run this business. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You'll, you'll on the on the platform you'll get everything, the requirements that exactly. you need, so you'll be so able to follow. So starting a business is easy. Yeah. No, Running it's, it's simple. Is simple, but not easy. Running so let's just business. remember, guys. Yeah. When we are starting businesses, mm -hmm. it's not about let me just start something. What are you going to be you know, planning is important. Exactly. Planning. You need to plan. You just can't randomly walk into this because yeah, <laughs> it's going to beat you down. Because when when you when you when you realize that you're just spending, 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 and nothing is coming in. Yeah. Frustration checks in. That's it. Then it hits you. I, I didn't I didn't plan for this. Yes. I didn't plan for this. I didn't expect this. Then you're there debating: should I give up or should I go on? Yeah. Again. Not only lost is is lost. You can sit down and now you can actually sit down and make like a proper plan. Yeah. And because at least you've seen you've you've fallen doesn't mean yeah. that you continue lying there. Exactly. You get up and now actually go back to the drawing board and sit yeah. down and go like, okay, I wanted to selfish. Mm -hmm. So I need A B C D, mm -hmm. and I've al already I have A B C D. Yeah. So where do I go from here? Yeah. No, no. So you don't have to give up again. Planning. I keep planning. And the thing is, is to be honest with you, yes. uh, even the best business plans will fail. Because a business Nine plan is ten. just an idea yeah. of how you think things are going to be. <laughs> According to how yeah. the market is today. Yes. Do you understand? Mm. You haven't taken into account any, any world event that might happen. Corona. Corona. And affect that the perfectly formed business plan. Yeah. So you've gone to a bank. You've given them your business plan. Mm -hmm. Or not to just a bank, an angel investor, anyone. Yes. yes? You've got a massively amazing business plan. This mm -hmm. is a foolproof business plan. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. Yes. Yes? Yeah. You have the funding mm -hmm. in your hands. Yeah. It's go time. Boom! Corona, Corona, Corona happens. happens. <laughs> your bar is up and running. Bar. It's ready to go. Bars are shut. <laughs> your school is up and running. It's ready to go. Schools <laughs> are shut. What do you do? You know what I mean? What do you do? There are those out there this year who sat back, folded their arms. Now, you want to go to the corona? What if what if this corona would have lasted you know, like for two years? Would, would that mean? Exactly. You know, I was all set to start my business. I was running my business, but corona happened. So the bar is closed. Uh -huh. What else can you do? Guys. Let me tell you how some people have survived this corona <laughs> in the bar industry. 
what I would have personally done, and this I think is a very clever thing. Yes. yes? We live in a day and age where everything is online, right? Mm -hmm. You already have your customers. Yes. You know these people's names, numbers, name, contacts, name, yes. because they've paid you via Impressa so yeah. many times. Database, Nani, database. Create your database. Yes. The government says today the bars are shut. Tomorrow, customers, any orders over 2K, free delivery to your yeah, home. Your business still continues. Your business never stopped. But your customers never stopped being serviced. Exactly. Okay, so the government has shut bars only. Mm. Bar and yeah, restaurants are still open. Yeah. Nani, get a restaurant license. Bus. It's not that, more ex that much more expensive than shutting down for six months. Because at least you're, ma you're making something. You've get just, just a bar changed. and restaurant license. license yeah. Your premises are still the same. All you have to do is make smokies and samosas. Bus. Uza samosa mbili bia 12. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? you're, still, you're still running. Your premise is not lying there. Exactly. Because, because your license is still counting. That's it. No, no. Because if at the end of the year, yeah. you're being told, yo, renew license. Business mm. is about agility. Yeah. It's like in sports. And you think, if you're playing rugby, decision. and all you can do is run in a straight line, and you cannot change direction. Mazuta <laughs> Sambwa. If you are a footballer and all you can do is dribble in a straight line, Nani, you will be tackled. Oh, my friend. This life will tackle you in business if you cannot change direction. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Agility. You have to have agility mm. in business. Just yeah. I, I always go back to sports Compromise. analogies. Yeah. An 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 analogies. Yeah. Because to me, sports has tol taught me, sports and business are one and the same. Mm. To me. Yes. You know? Mm. When I'm injured, I don't stop playing. I don't sit there, eat too much, and drink no, too much, yes. because I can't. No. I go out, this I do what temporary. I can. Yes. Do you see what I mean? Yes. When I'm on crutches, I can still move about. Yes. I can still pull weight. Exactly. I can still push. I can still work out my upper body. You can do most of your, 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 your life continues. Exactly. Like most of the moves, yes. But I can still work out yes. my mind. Mm. I can still work out my mind. Mm. You know what I mean? Yes. I can still say to myself, like, listen, mm. Sharon, <coughs> yes, your body is weak now, no. but how can you strengthen your mind so that next time your body is weak, you will be able yes, to, to do something else rather than just sit and wait to recover. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. we know people out here who don't have like from the waist down. Mm. And when you look at their bodies, they're like mm. ripped. They're, 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 yeah. These are, you know, they're competitors. Yeah. You know, yeah. these people compete in obstacle courses, you know, That's true. and they have a lot less than what we've got. True. So it's just about thinking, yeah. how can I mm. do the best with the, the what, mm. what, are the with the what you have, what I've been given, yes. what I've been faced with. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yes. So Twisted. it's it. Exactly. Yes. You know, always, always, always be have that agility to to keep going. Yes. Anyway, let's listen to a, bis <laughs> a bit of music, and then when we come back, we're going to be talking about uh, habits of successful people mm. and why businesses fail. Again, it's not for the faint heart. DJ Roy, <laughs> <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> nine, nine. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, everybody, welcome back, everyone. And uh, this today, I well, suggest <laughs> if you didn't get pen and paper before for the previous segment, please, 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 There's still get time pen, and paper, get pen <laughs> and paper, pen and paper, pen and paper today. today please, is that day? Yeah? Karibuni sana. Uh, welcome back to uh, this edition oh, of Bihashara Wednesday. Yes. On that show, we're here every Wednesday for business talk. Yes. We're here on Mondays. Monday as well for relationships. And Furahi Day. <laughs> Makasiriko Furahi Day. That Boiling is the day things. that we kasirika about everything. <laughs> we talk about everything and anything. No taboos. I know. No filters. Kabisa. Man. You we know? Ca we come at you. We come exactly. at you with it. Wednesday, we educate our minds. Oh, yeah. You know, we it's, it's, talk it's about things that are sober. Mindeleo, you know? Studio. Things we like. Mind. And then on Fridays, we talk about why Mindeleo is not happening. Why Mindeleo you know? is not happening. So, guys, join us on Mondays for relationships. Yes. On uh, Wednesdays, like on today. Wednesday for for money business matters. manenos, you yes. know, money matters. Yes. And uh, Friday. on Friday for the Makasiriko. So for throw down. Exactly. You know, <laughs> it's a free for all. If you have something that asks you, something that is really annoying you, you want mm -hmm. to talk about it on Friday, let us DM us. Slide uko kwa DM. But we give you permission. We give you permission. We are your carpet. Slide in the <laughs> step mm -hmm. on us. Anyway, on the last segment, for those who've only just joined us, we were talking about business trends, why people just 
follow like sheeple you know without ah, thinking without body over here. exactly we are all going exactly you know um business is not for the faint hearted business is not for those people who just want to try if you just want to dip your foot in please don't sell your house to go and start a business yeah. you know just literally see how you like business or actually work with someone else be in a partnership yeah. you know what i mean yeah. see if you actually like the yes. nitty gritty of having yeah. a business Do you like where this is going you know yeah. don't put your foot in by yourself if you've never done it at least get somebody share the risk yes you know what i mean yeah. but also when you get somebody remember that it's all about blood sweat and tears hard work Definitely. stepping out of your comfort zone doing things that you've never done before yes. learning on the job yeah. you know advancing yourself exactly. polishing polishing this that's it yeah. consistency resilience tenacity discipline mm. accountability, accountability and never ever ever giving up ever keep giving the up, yeah. faith you know these are some of the things like as we walk into this thing of uh, talking about the habit of successful or high highly efficient people yeah. people who get up <coughs> and decide okay i want to do this yeah. you have to be organized yeah. number one it's very organization important. is key yeah. you cannot be double booking yourself mm -hmm. have a calendar before you start anything have a calendar yeah, have a plan yeah. what i'm going to do when you know yes. even if you're not so sure about where your business is going at least have a plan always have a plan this yes. is what i need to do yeah. i need to register this company mm -hmm. i need to go to the city council and yes. to but have yeah, a plan of when city. it starts yeah. now the business has, has started mm -hmm. i need to have a meeting with this person <coughs> but i also need to be in my shop or i also need to be in my clinic yes. running this thing yes. you see what i mean yes. if you have a calendar that tells you this is where you need to do it when 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 yes. yeah you will always a be on time mm. and being on time is number one extremely professional and number two it shows respect, it shows respect yes. for the people who you work with or Very the people true. who you look to clients, working yeah. with yeah. your clients your, clients your, your colleagues, partners, your colleagues everyone everyone you yeah. know being on time yeah always being on time it's even when you're turning up late for a business meeting and go there's nothing eh, like african you know i'm an african timer uh, uh, mate don't, if don't, you're coming don't to don't a business meeting line. with me and you tell me about african timing that's it that shows you you're, you're not you're not invested in i that might business. still you're not really invested in do i might still listen to what you've got to do to say but yeah. i promise you i won't be doing business with you yeah because if you can't commit to keeping time what, what else business, can you what exactly business, what business do we have do exactly we stay, yeah? Because today is all oh, African time. Next time yeah. it's going to be all oh, traffic. There's always exactly. going to be an excuse. Yeah. Why? Why didn't you? Why didn't you buy the? Nini? Why didn't you stock up? Yeah. Oh, because ABCD. Yeah. Everyone comes late sometimes. Yes. Every things happen. Things happen. Despite our, I mean, you can leave an hour early. Yes. There's an accident on Jogorod, yes. which means nobody is getting into town. Exactly. It's even in the news. Yes. You see. Yes. You call the person early enough because yes. if you left an hour early it means that you meant to get there 15 early. to 20 minutes exactly. earlier which means by the time this thing happens and you're running late yes. it's half an hour before your meeting exactly if you're stuck in traffic and it's not moving yes. send a message, send a message. make communicate. that call yes. communicate yes. let the other person know respect the other person enough to give them that choice exactly. do i want to wait for you or shall we just reschedule you because should, it yes. might be easier for you to turn yes. and Maybe go back if it's this do. big yes. accident exactly. you exactly. know what i mean yeah. we can reschedule that with that person or we can even have this meeting on the phone, on the phone yeah. while that you're is, stuck there yes. yeah you See. know what i mean if it's something that there was no presentation or send the person the presentation you're yes. stuck in traffic you're anyway stuck in traffic yeah i mean organize you're yourself going to be there like half exactly. an hour 45 minutes for that you're sitting there if organize yourself and yeah? organization doesn't just mean timekeeping it also means things like thing i'm a business person yes. yeah your i know that i call clients a lot yes yeah, yeah. i know that uh, mobile phone companies nowadays give you that uh, prepay postpay yes, post packages yes. yeah they have those packages yes. yeah i know that taking this package will be a bit of a squeeze for me initially but what it will mean is i'm not calling clients and then saying oh tole credit yangu ilisha no you and know what i mean that thing actually looks also like it says a lot oh sorry siku kwana bundles i couldn't send you that presentation you know yeah. most of these bundles so start yeah, from sure. an affordable amount if you think about it yes. and what it saves you and, and the image that it creates for your business 
is amazing. Yes, you're intentional about this, so you, you planned ahead, you planned, you put everything, all the measures were taken, yeah. and they were put into consideration. Because once, once you start saying to people, I couldn't send you that email because I didn't have bundles, <laughs> who wants to do business with you? You why know what I mean? Yeah. Why am I partnering up with we'll, you? We live in, in a world now where our phones are like uh, computers. Yeah, there are I can things. literally <coughs> do a presentation on my phone. Yes. I can send it to an email address oh, yeah. from my phone. Yes. I can then call the person and still have that conversation while they scroll exactly. through that the presentation, the presentation. Yeah, you on their computer, on their you phone, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. And I am doing it all on my on your phone. phone. So there's no longer an excuse, excuse of, of, I didn't, I have, didn't have, exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's about learning what we've got and organizing ourselves to use what we've got until we've got to the next level where we have more of what we need. Yes. Make what you have work for you. you make, know? It, make it work. Another yeah. thing. Don't, don't come up with excuses. Take action. Be a doer. Yes. Be a doer. Mm. Be the person who doesn't just see that this thing needs doing, but does it. Does it, yes. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Don't be that person who thinks that, oh, that needs doing, but I don't have the actual uh, qualifications for it. it. Or, guys, so many Try online it. courses That's now. <laughs> you know, yeah. I say to the people all the time, you might not have the, um, what's it called? Skill set. Skill set that you think you need, yes. but there are so many master classes out there now most of them free, at least to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. You know, you can gain so, m so many um, skills. Yes. Yeah? Online. You can expand, ex expand your skill set. Yes. You know? Mm. You have like a week and, and you're sitting there. It's just, again, like you said, planning. Yeah. Because you can imagine, if, you, if you're intentional about it, you'll make time for this session. Exactly. And you're going to learn something new. Mm. And at the end of the week, you're yeah. brighter, you're doing something new. Mm. So that this thing that was giving you a hard time and, and, and was costing you clients yeah. the other week is now, is, is now an obstacle you run over. Yeah. So now you're facing bigger things and better things. Yeah. And yeah. talking about courses and yeah. things like that, this calls again to personal development. Mm -hmm. if, you're, if you have a gap in your knowledge, if you have a gap in your skill set and yes. you, you can't afford to employ somebody to do this for you, then you need to learn to do it. Yeah. But in doing all this development, in doing all of that, remember mm. that you also have to have personal care. Yes. You see, if, you don't, if, you, if you're just running a business and you're too busy to rest, mm. you have to stop sometimes to rest. Mm. Because if you don't rest, you minimize your productivity. Yes. And it's, it's a double-edged sword. Mm. You, you know, burn out, you start when you burn the company. candle at both ends, you Eventually end up out. losing. Yes. You know, so yes, seek self-development, seek to push yourself, but also seek to take care of yourself. Mm. Eat well, rest enough, yes. take exercise, mm -hmm. yes. keep your mind, body, and Healthy. spirit sharp. Yes. Because otherwise there's no business you're doing, because you have no business doing business if your business is just killing you. That's true, that's true. Because resting, resting, a lot of a lot of people overlook rest. Because yeah. once you like, it's like you've gotten the momentum, you just want to go, 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 go. Yeah, it's 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 good. Um, taking time to rest doesn't mean you're being lazy. Yeah. It doesn't mean you're. There are times it does, but yeah, <laughs> not always. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've been going, you've been going for se for six days. Yeah, at least take one day to just sit down and uh, necessarily doesn't mean sleep the whole day. Yeah, but just relax. Take time. Just, yes. Yeah, regroup. Just, yes, check yeah. out Kidogo, like at least um, look at things you need to put back in place. Yeah. And when it's Monday, watch a movie. Yes, it, yeah, exactly. You do, know? do something that Cuddle is not up with work. your person. <laughs> you know. Give yourself some, you know, because all so these things. Things that make your heart exactly. sing, like joy. Encourage a positive mental attitude. Mm. And that's the biggest thing you need. Because when we talk about resilience and tenacity and discipline, yes. it calls to a positive mental attitude. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. If we don't have this positive mental attitude, then we're more likely to fail. Yes. We are more likely to just give up. Yes. Because I don't have that thing in me that tells me, Charles, don't yes. worry. Yes. It shall happen. Yeah. Lakini, kesho, wake up again, exactly. get up, go and try Do again. Not give up. You know, Do if not at first you don't succeed, yes. try, try, try again. Yeah. But that's not saying that you just keep doing the same thing without mm. getting results. Sometimes, as we were saying in the previous segment, you yes. might need to change direction. True. Change direction if True. you have to. True. That's not giving up. 
Yeah, take a step to the side and look yeah. at it. You're like, why isn't this thing working? Exactly. Exactly. If I try this other way, yeah. if I approach it, approach it from a different way. Because sometimes you keep you keep going the same way, the same way, the same way. You're not growing. You're not you, you're not adding any value to yourself. Yeah. Uh, there's no point. Network with people. Mm. Look for mentors. As we were saying, yeah. you're not the first to do that thing that you're doing <laughs> unless exactly. you've invented in, in, invented something. Yeah. yeah? Network and with people. It. Join with people online or otherwise. Yes. Mainly, jaribu ku join nawatu in person. Mm. Try to create. I know have like a lot of things are online now, yeah. but have groups of people where you go and you and reach each other yeah. in person. You know there are like amazing breakfast clubs out there yes. for businesses, for entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. There are amazing supper clubs, things like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. Yeah. So there are amazing um, organizations like um, help people to grow in yes. business. Yes. You know, yes. go build your network with people either in the same industry or in or supplementary industry. or complementary yes. industries, yes. because that way your business grows from more angles more than angles one. Exactly. Yeah, you you know, being one, one direction. Exactly. And also be a product of your own product. Be a pro if you're an instructor, look like an instructor. True. If you're a, if you're a, if you're an accountant, look like an accountant. Exactly. Speak like an look, accountant. Look the part, yes. If you're a therapist, look, look like a therapist. Yes. Speak like a therapist. Exactly. Let someone know or at least guess at what you do before you tell them what you do. Mm. You know, like most of the time you can tell who a teacher is uh, or a what? farmer. <laughs> You know, or, 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 or somebody who works in the fitness industry, you can yeah, tell. You can tell, yes. Because a lot of them are products of their own product. Exactly. Exactly. You see somebody passing and you're like, yeah, this guy looks like an accountant. You know what I mean? Okay. Or yeah. a lawyer. Yeah, or a lawyer. Yeah. Because I, once uh, somebody opens their mouth, you're like, eh, hey, ni, 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 there's terminologies there, and you're like, what? <laughs> Yeah, it's let it's people know thing, without yeah. actually having to tell them what you do. Exactly. Because a lot of times, when you go into a networking type situation, mm -hmm. if people can guess at what you do before you tell them, a lot of times, even that in itself will start a conversation. Yes. You look very fit. Yeah. You and as we say on the show all the time, when you meet somebody, everybody you meet is a potential client, yeah, sure. is a potential lead, is yes. a potential somebody who you will work with in the future. In the future. You know what I mean? Maybe not immediately, but eventually. Exactly. So yeah. represent yourself in a way that, uh, remember that when you're self-employed or when you run a small company and you're the leader of that company, you represent that company wherever you go. Yes. You're a brand. You know? Yes. So remember to be a product of your own product. Mm. Be that person who speaks. Let, the, let your presence speak Let's of your itself, product. Yes before you even before ever you have to say anything yourself, exactly. that is exactly. if that is visible mm. but when you speak also if you're a motivational speaker yes. and you meet somebody you don't know this person mm. and you start speaking negatively or you start being down on yourself or any of that stuff yeah and this person then after a while you realize that, oh this could be a customer then you start telling them oh by the way i'm a motivational speaker it's too late it is too late. I'm stuck on those negative things. Exactly. If that person <coughs> w worked for a company where they were looking for a motivational speaker, do you think they would they hire definitely you? Definitely get not getting you know? the job. And and not. and guys, yes. wake up early. Mm. And yes. early is relative. There are some of us who are happy to wake up at four, five o'clock and be uh, useful yes. through the day. Yes. But for personally, I think if you're in business and on business days you're happy to sleep until eight o'clock, mm. then. Your customers already you woke up yeah. at six, five. You've already lost your... You know, yeah. you've, you've lost three hours of your day that you're not going to get back. Exactly. If you're trying, if you say, I'm an, but I'm nocturnal, okay, fine, you might be nocturnal, you might be happy to stay awake till three and, and wake up at 11, <laughs> but when who you, are you imagine... Targeting? Exactly, yeah. when you imagine, unless you're, you're, you're targeting people who can't sleep, and that is your business, to help people who can't sleep, but even they, if they can't sleep and they're looking to sleep, once you've helped them sleep, <laughs> what's your target, you know? man? <laughs> and when, when they're awake, insomniacs are awake all through, all not just through. at night. It's like you know. On. So during the day, they're there yeah. scrolling, doing. Exactly. If you're not there to interact with your with your audience, yes. to interact with the uh, with the information you're putting out there. If you're advertising yourself, mm -hmm. you say you do something on Instagram, yeah. and you're advertising yourself and uh, someone sends a message and you can't interact with it, then who are you helping? 
what are you doing what are you doing what are you doing again that's important because you need to ask yourself why why am i doing this why why do i have to sleep early wake up early why, why again why knowing your why is really important because you check into business and you can't you can't wake up early because you're a nocturnal try and change things try try like it's not important don't try <laughs> do it <laughs> do wake it. up early <laughs> start your day early organize yourself exactly. because i promise you if your habits are to sleep until nine ten o'clock you need to change that and you, you haven't made it in business yet i don't care about people who made it in business already mm -hmm. who are successful and think that they can sleep until 10 o'clock once you've made it once you've built this thing you can wake up at noon nobody cares because you've got people running a business your business is running itself whether you're there or not, or not. but if you're not there yet wake up early, early. organize yourself That's it pisses early. me off so much it, and honestly this is something that really really annoys me when people sleep in late and then they start telling you how uh, Aki si, Aki, uh, my business is doing is not doing well mm -hmm. okay so you have a kiosk Masai Pale I'm a 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. he's been selling from 5 a.m. to 11 when you decide to open yours muko na vibanda next to each other huyu mtu alifungua ameanza kuuza samosas nini nini mandazi vitu zote asubuhi mm -hmm. mapema 4 am ameanza kuuza sa zile even people who only one or two people are passing you know mm -hmm. so all these one or two people three people by the time the traffic shikas this person whether they usually buy from you or not yeah. will buy from them because they're the ones who are there oh, yeah L and easily by 10 you're done you you're closed with this part of the business if you have something you know what else I mean? to do yeah because so you've gotten the early i don't mm. understand people who say i can't wake up early and they want to be in business no it's get employed get employed by somebody time. or have a business that runs at night mm. fine <laughs> yeah but even that business has to be advertised and has to be marketed at yeah, times there's, there's when people are awake exactly. wake up get it done and then decide what you want to do with the rest of your That's day you know waking up early buys you hours you know like a lot of times people will ask you oh how do you get all these things done in your day it's because i wake up at four o'clock yeah. or at five o'clock yeah. i'm not sleeping until eight o'clock nine o'clock i've been working for four hours by the time you wake up yeah. of course i'm more productive than you yeah. it's not that i had more hours than your hours but yeah I woke up but early. if you decided to sleep until eight and i woke up at four three o'clock and started working mm -hmm. of course i'm more productive than you and of course eventually i will earn more money than you it's, it's really that simple yep. planning you know planning. you cannot Sacrifice. be lazy and succeed <laughs> really that simple <laughs> that never works. you know yeah. and yeah. this Actually brings us neatly sacrifice. into why do businesses fail mm. lack of planning <laughs> I'll just start with that one again. Lack of planning. Because if you don't plan yourself, you don't plan personally it starts with you. Because if you can't if you can't prioritize your day, you're definitely not achieving anything because you sleep in, you wake up at eight, you wake up at nine. Uh the first crop. So una uzia nani, una tafta nani, who's your target? Unona. Because kama ujajipanga, how do you customers wako ni nani? Yeah. Unona. So who are you selling to? Yeah. Unona. Because say you sell tea and mandazi, um, there's usually people here at the nini, at the bus stop here. Mm. There's people who are going to work. There's the what do you call them? The conductors and the bus drivers and whoever. Go and get people there. Because yep. already there's a crowd there. Yep. So if you if you plan, you'll become intentional yeah. on doing whatever you want. Or to even do. if you're starting something like an accounting firm yeah. or a law firm, yeah. you know, mm. a lot of people are employed and they get diff they get tired of um their jobs mm. and they decide that i am going to start my own yeah, and exactly yeah. and yes planning goes into it but ask yourself why mm. am i doing it mm. you know yeah. are you starting for the right reasons <coughs> you know what i mean or is it a business what are your I'm reasons for starting this business exactly. you know yeah. if you're starting a business because you're passionate about the thing that you do that you, you love do. the thing that you do mm. you are driven and determined to succeed yeah. it will give you the patience to let this business grow you know mm. and you have to have that can do attitude there's nothing in this business <laughs> that you can't do that you can. if you set your mind to, to doing it. it 
you know? Mm. And when things go wrong, and they will go wrong, things will go, <laughs> <laughs> you will F up. Nine out of ten times. You will F up. Just like being Nine a parent, times. you will F up mm. at some point. Things will at some point go wrong. But when they do, yeah. you will have either failures or setbacks or mm. you've planned. You know, like, and people say planning. I honestly don't think, and, and, and I know that the most people who do business will go against my way of doing it. Mm. I have never, ever written a plan at the beginning of any of my businesses. Okay. That's, that sounds dangerous, though. Why? <laughs> Because you, you, it's like you've just checked into it. Like no. <laughs> no. I have... No. I didn't say I have never had a plan. Mm. I have never... Or a written plan. Written. Oh, okay. A okay. business plan. Okay. At the big, There's a very big difference from not having a plan to not writing it down. Okay. No, I get you. My personal reasons yes. for not writing an mm. elaborate business plan mm. is a lot of time we write this thing down and we get stuck with what we've written down. In the plan. Yes, and we're missing everything because else. Because mimi na kwambia ukianzisha biashara, yeah. uko na plan. Mm -hmm. Situation kwa ground. <laughs> Corona thing. Ina kuanga very different. Mm. You see? Yeah. So this is why for me, yes, have a plan, know why. You understand? Yeah. Obviously, you have to think about, uh, I'm an independent person. Mm -hmm. The reason why I'm not employed and this Saturday, the, my guest uh, for the Saturday evening, 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. business talk, yeah. talks about this mm -hmm. in, in more detail. Yes. A lot of us as people who are self-employed are self-employed or in business because we don't like working for other people. We're too independent. I want to be able to, if I see that problem, I want to fix it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go ask for someone's permission to come fix it. Mm -hmm. Because I'm a doer. Yeah. I like to solve problems. Mm -hmm. When you're starting a business, what is your business solving? Mm -hmm. You know, mm. if you just start uh, a, a project because you want to start a project, if you have the money for it and it fails and you don't care, that's fine. Mm. You have loose change. Exactly. So much to spend. But most of the time, when you see a problem in society mm. and you choose to fix it, yeah. like now, Galactic Productions, yes. I have no business in media. Mm -hmm. Like, it's never been, obvi obviously, when I was in school, I was an actor, a yeah. uh, drama club, <laughs> nini, nini, yeah. zovitu zote. But that's nothing to do with, with what we're doing right now. Yes. But I saw that a lot of young people in our society mm. need a platform like this. To trust, express themselves. Exactly. Let, let and the for me, that happen. was the driving force. Yeah. Because a lot of creatives cannot find space to, to go be creative. Yes to create, mm. for someone to give them that chance without asking them first, give me something. Where's your money? Where's your money? Where's your degree? Where's your diploma? Where's your, yeah, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like when, you, when you leave school and you're being asked for five years experience. Exactly. You've been in school for four years. Where That's are you it. getting the five for years For me, experience? starting Galactic Productions was about, I know that it's going to cost me a lot of money, yeah. but it's not a vanity project. Mm. It's like, I want all this, we keep saying, what is there for the youth? But those of us who have something to give to the youth are also out there waiting for the politicians that we know are not going to give us, to give us what? For handouts, yes. That are never coming. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So That's I thought to point. myself, let me give other people an example. Being the change. Be the change you want to see in this exactly. world. Don't just put them in some dingy place and we create them somewhere where they're proud to exactly. work from. Exactly. Exactly. They can talk you know. about, they can sell. So the again, business. ask yourself, why? What problem am I, am I solving, solving for yeah. someone else? Not for me. Not for you. I'm <laughs> not starting a business because I'm broke and I need money. Yes. No. I'm starting a business, yes, because I need I money. I need money. But, but also, that's not the driving Exactly. Force. I want to help people to get healthy. Exactly. I want to help people to lose weight. Yes. I want to help people to live pain-free. It's more of a community. Thing. Exactly. It's not about you. That's it. Really. So ask yourself, what problem am I solving for someone else? Exactly. Because then it doesn't matter when things get hard, when all of that happens, because you're going to ask yourself, my customer is going to be waiting for me tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I have to be there. I have to be there early. I have to be for there them, something. not for me. Yeah. I know I'm not making money yet, but I have to I solve that to person's yes, problem because I told so them that, that I will be there. They'll find that solution that I promised yeah. I'm going to deliver. Exactly. So and then that brings us into that thing of, is there a market for it? 
for what your your the business you're getting into. Yeah. Because sometimes you can have the best idea <laughs> and the best <laughs> business plan. I'm telling you any bank will Execution give you money on point. I have seen business plans that if I was a millionaire, yeah. I would be tempted to give the money. <laughs> Like just here, Aki. take my money. What are, let me just give you because take this business money. plan is brilliant. You know? Until until you ask yourself and, and, and a lot of people approach me and they say, mm. Oh, I want to do blah 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And you ask them, Who are you gonna sell it to? Yeah. Who's who's your target market? Not even target market. You can have a target market <laughs> in your head, but there is no market. <laughs> For example, yeah. you say right now. We're in Islands, yes. yeah? Mm. You start a business here that the average person lives below the breadline. Mm. But you then price it or you give some, okay, maybe you open a, a high-end spa yes. in Islands. Yeah, pool, sauna, nini, nini. It's off to Zote. Yes. Kati, kati, ya kijiji. Why? <laughs> location, location, location. Why would you take a spa in the middle? Those guys have other issues. You're not, you're not, you're not sorting out them. Is there a market for your product? There's none, because they are, uh, where they are, they don't need your services. Yeah. Probably they're they're worried These about where are we getting water, where themselves. are we getting food, where are we getting sanitation to house themselves and to in house proper themselves, places. You know, and you're here. You know what I mean? Yeah. So when whenever we have an idea, yes, you have an idea, but is there a market for it? Yes. You know, yeah. you want to start a food business, mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. In a place where already so many people are selling food, a certain kind of food. Yes. The food that you're going to sell, you're going to struggle to sell. Yeah. So you have to ask yourself, yes, there are many bars in this place, mm -hmm. but is there a market for my product? For my product, yes. Because otherwise, is, if there's no market, it doesn't matter how brilliant your product is. It yeah. doesn't matter how Whatever amazing you are at, at advertising it, at selling it. It doesn't matter how personable you are as a person. The if price there's is. no market for your business, your business will fail. And even market if initially there's a market, keep an eye on market trends. Mm. Because market trends change. change. You know? Sure. Today, everyone loves Zumba. Mm. Tomorrow, CrossFit. Ah, CrossFit. Kesho, uh, they're, they're, they're doing exercises at home. So, as a, as, a, as a fitness professional, you have to ask myself, how do I move exactly. with the trends? Exactly. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's not just market changes in, t in terms of consumer appetite, but it's also in what terms of what is happening in the world. Yes. This year, Corona happened. Mm. Now, people have been um, encouraged to invest in um, technology mm -hmm. for a long time now. Yes. Uh, the government has promised computers they didn't bring, but as an institution, you knew that there was a need for computers in your institutions because the government was promising things that they should have been delivering. But they don't. No. So as an astute business person, because mm -hmm. schools are also businesses, churches are also businesses, mm -hmm. you knew to invest in technology. Yes. Even churches nowadays, even before Corona, yes. a lot of them were already doing the uh, online, online stuff, yes. TV stuff. Yes. You see what I mean? Yes. These were people that saw that, yes, there's a market for my product. Exactly. But there's also a need mm. for me to bring my product to those people who can't come who to can't it. Come to you. Yes. Te televangelists mm -hmm. have been bringing us church services for TV the, uh, online for a long TV, time. Yes. They've been making money doing it already. They didn't wait for Corona to happen. Three ten. They saw that technology was moving, and they thought, "How can our business move with their technology?" Yeah, exactly. You exactly. know, keeping up with the times. Exactly. Keep up with the so times. really, look at how the market is changing. Not just whether there's a market, but look at how the market is changing. Change with the times, because yeah. if you're not changing, if you're not growing, you're dying <laughs> as a business. Yes. You know. There's also something like poor management, and you were talking about this earlier, putting mm -hmm. the right people. A good leader yes. doesn't know everything, but they know how to choose the right people, the right people for the, the right job. That's true. That's true. Because you can't, um, you have to learn how to delegate as mm. a leader, because you can't be everywhere at all times. Yeah. So you'd find that somebody who's better than you mm. are doing something, and the moment you acknowledge that, your, your company grows, yeah. and you're growing together. 
because you, you're supposed to think of it as a win-win yeah because this person has come in they've delivered their service in, in, in what do you call it in record time and yes. everything is flowing yes. nicely mm. you win i win the company wins yes you see so it's a plus plus for everyone mm -hmm. you didn't have to work hard like crazy hard but you work smart yeah because you got in somebody who could for the job yeah so exactly I mean, uh, if you look at most of the successful presidents in the past, mm. it's not that they were the most brilliant minds. Yeah. If you look at many CEOs now, really, really successful people, yes. it's not that they know everything. It's not like they have PhDs in their uh, mm. chosen uh, industry. A lot of them fell into an industry. Yes. <laughs> you know, yeah. or they walked into one industry and then expanded and diversified because it was just what was needed by the mm. company for the company to grow. Mm. They don't have all these skills, but mm. they've employed the right people. Yes, the teams. Exactly. Yeah. So they've got the right teams, mm. you know? Mm. A lot of businesses also fail because of insufficient capital uh. or funding, yes. you know? Yes. I was talking to Clarice Etienne here yes. on uh, uh, the interview Clarice. last Saturday's yes. uh, business interview. Mm -hmm. And what she was saying was, obviously, mm. like, uh, you can start small, mm. but at some point you will need to expand. You need to expand. What, yes. are, your, uh, what are your options? for expanding when your business does get there. Mm -hmm. And this is the thing why you have to really keep an eye on your business more regularly. Yes. Because when you get to that point, you don't want to just be surprised yeah, by additional demand. Mm. You know, yes. you, you can see the ready. trend. Yes. Yeah, it's slowly, because exactly. you're not where you started. Yeah. You, you, the growth has been there. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of people start businesses and they think, oh, I'm just going to start this business. Oh, it's doing so well. I'm going to buy uh, Land Rover. <laughs> Range you, Rover. You, uh, Range yeah. Rover. You know. Expand what, what this one. Yeah, what, what they don't realize is when your business is doing so well and earning more money, it means that there's scope for growth. For growth. Your baby is growing. Exactly. Now they don't fit in size. Two so clothes, now they're wearing size. Your five. child is young. Yes. They've talked at two years old, three years old. You it's think at five longer. years yes. old. You know? This thing, growth spot, <laughs> you're, you're wondering, Hala? I did not kill it. <laughs> it's still alive. I know. I, t I say, people, the most terrifying thing about being a parent in those first few years <laughs> is, 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 is killing this little <laughs> human. <laughs> like, I promise you, it's so easy to, to <laughs> let this thing die. Like, <laughs> did you sock it up or chop them corner? Did you mean I'm going to DVD? Did you mean a two bob DVD? I tell you what, it's it's a constant uh, fight for keeping empty. this little you human see it alive. alive and you're like, exactly. And it's the same with the business. For the first two, three, four, five years, it's about keeping this thing alive. Yes. You know. Keep and checking, once it's keep alive and it's making money, it's not about now cooling it. It's but about it's remembering that my child is now five years old. Yes. In a year or two, this child is going to primary school. Yes. Which is advance. equivalent yes. to it's going to grow. Yes. Yes. When this child goes to primary school, they the needs need are no ABCD. longer just clothing, shelter, and food. The needs are education yes. as well. Yes. Kuna uniform apple, kuna transport, kuna nini. Mm. Start saving. Exactly. Don't wait until your child is going it's to seven, standard and then one. You start asking, Kaya. Unajua, between standard one and standard eight, you have seven years to prepare. You get me? For the again, next again, the same as a business. Yes. You know that your business is now growing. Yes. You've got employees. Yes. You've got people who rely on you. All these people have to be paid. Nini, 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 nini. Eventually, yes. these people, you know for a fact that if you want to expand your business, they're going to have their own teams. Mm. So there's promotions there. There's yeah. more employees, I guess. So whichever way you look at it, you need to put something aside always. Mm. Because if you are running a business and you cannot get additional funding, you will, you're more likely to get additional funding if you have money set aside. Yes. You go to a bank Savings. and say, I have 50% already yes. that has come from this business mm -hmm. and you can see that it has you come you from have, this yes, business. You kept your books properly. You see, yes. which means there's scope for growth. Yes. Because this is, if this is our trend, this is what we are projecting. Yes. The bank is more likely to stand yes. for the and other 50%. Yes. Because they see. Exactly. you kept your records and your records speak for you itself. Know. Yeah? But if you lack that additional funding, it might mean that your competitor grows and you don't. Mm. Which means that they can squeeze you out of the market. Out of the market. Because it's not just your competitors, it's those who are coming in as well. Exactly. You know, yeah. you're already in the, in the business. Maybe you had a monopoly or m there were not so many of you. 
all of a sudden everyone has crazy eggs. Exactly. You know. You're wondering, last week it was just me. Exactly. This week everyone on this street is selling the same service. How do I then either diversify? Because if you already have the stock, you have to think, I can discount this to my initial rate, which means I can do away do away with it yes. but what else can my business do supply these people you see yes. and so therefore we always have to make sure that we are either we have access to funding mm-hmm. or we have good credit so that we can afford That's to true. gain funding yeah. because when your business gets to a point where it has to grow and you can't grow mm. that can also be another reason why businesses fail mm. you know mm. and another one that you've talked about here all the time is lack of planning planning. and planning doesn't mean that you have a detailed plan that you think you can't deviate from it just means that this is happening i can see this month that my landlord is being uh (laughs) (laughs) deward and i know the writing is on the wall that that my business might have to move yes start looking for options now now you see what i mean yes don't Don't wait for the exactly don't wait until things are so bad that now if I move, I don't know where my customers will find exactly. me. I don't know. You know what I mean? And at least when you start planning early, you, you start letting your customers exactly. know. Exactly. And they that goes for changes coming. Exactly. Yeah. For funding as well. Your employees. You know, having the wrong location. Oh. Yeah. Location location is also another trick. Like, like give that um, example. Mm. Why are you putting a spa in a kijiji? Mm. Like, you have, to, you have to look at this this service that i'm offering this mm. this thing that i'm selling is it required here yeah is it is, does it make sense yeah or having here? a food bank yes in the middle of lovington <laughs> where it's plush <laughs> you know the so only that time you see anybody exactly. that they're driving past that's when it. they're going home that's it so that all the people who then need it have to drive or all not drive uh, take transport yeah. all the way or walk for miles and miles and it's more expensive to come and to access take the transport to come than and to come get, get that, that food uh, buy you know what thing. i mean it doesn't make sense so you need you need to be carefully at least when when you're scouting for 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 location yeah. for your business yeah uh, you and you don't always get it right yeah so which means that again flexibility mm-hmm. agility yes be ready it didn't to work here. exactly let's move it here your, my business point. is working but i'm in a different location the yeah. other location is going to cost me more again funding Where is it you know what from? i mean yes i have to move this business because otherwise this business fails mm see planning again yeah yeah so you have to be intentional keep an open eye that's an open eye and and just because the business is growing doesn't mean you have to expand (laughs) it's true you know i think a lot of people get carried away they're like "Ah, yeah i need more people exactly i need i need i need a teller here yeah i need an accountant exactly i need another or those are more salaries that's that's going to cost you i had now have this shop that's grown too quickly over yes. the last six months. I'm making a lot of money, but I still haven't mastered the ins and outs of actually running a shop. Exactly. Now, I want to stop, I want to have this shop in Donholm and go start another one in Buruburu. Yeah. But I don't have the systems in Donholm to be able to leave someone here without yes. Puibiwa. Yes. Without someone taking advantage and. Exactly. I'm, 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 you know what I mean? By the time you're in not the house. Not even like that. Like you're literally not in the house. You've decided to expand your business yeah. and go and have you're another location. Yeah. But your first location isn't standing on its yeah, own it's not, yet. It's not, yeah. You cannot leave it. It's like saying, I have a newborn mm-hmm. who has extra needs. Yes. I haven't mastered how to take care of this baby but yet. Let me get another but one. I want to go on holiday for two weeks. I'm going to leave the baby with a nanny. A nanny who's not trained to take <laughs> care of a child who already has difficulty just being in this world. Yeah. You know. Multiple crashes. Exactly. Or you keep getting weird phone calls. Boss, boss, this, that, and the other. Nini, nini. Exactly. You, you can't even have peace on the other end. So now, in turn, you can't focus on growing the exactly. other one because this one yeah. is, is not even is not even functioning on its exactly. own. It's not even paying itself or whatever. That's it. No, so it I'm, might okay. be doing all that. Yeah. Basically, you have a business that is already successful, mm. but you want to expand. Branch B. Yeah? Mm. Maybe branch B might be feasible. Mm. But then, because A has been so successful, you want to open B, C, and D. Mm. <laughs> At the same time. No, that's just B. It B, took B, you B, three B. years to five years mm. to build branch A. Branch A. But all of a sudden, overnight, you want to open B, C, and D without the infrastructure. Yes, of course. If you if you then decide to make it a franchise, mm-hmm. you can do it. Mm. You can open B to Z overnight. Yeah. 
because all you've done is you've created a system that works, that works you're yeah. selling the system to someone else mm -hmm. all you have to make sure then is that they're running the system the way you've created yes. it and it will be successful mm -hmm. that's not on you because all you have to do then is manage the franchisee yes. but even then if you haven't got a proven if you just have it on paper yes. but you haven't looked and seen that the first franchise is working or yes. the first two are working yeah, to see the pitfalls yes. you see what i mean yes. then it means that this business is expanding too fast for its own good and the chances of it dying it's gonna crash very hard exactly landing so take your time yeah. take your time don't, don't be in a hurry to expand that's it yeah open uh, fine you, if eventually and the time to open other branches will come and you will know yeah because systems are set here things are running uh, yeah seamlessly so let's look at yep. other other options of maybe expanding or maybe opening something else yeah so yo and another thing mm -hmm. so um i think another thing why businesses don't fail is don't fail or don't succeed. I mean, sorry, well, don't succeed, <laughs> sorry. <Yeah. laughs> don't succeed. Yes. When you don't research on the competition. Like, mm -hmm. you, you don't know, um, of course, like we said, you're not the first person who's doing this. Yeah. There's people, there's somebody else who had a salon before you and you still want to open your salon there. Yeah. You need to go around, you need to know what are the pricings, mm -hmm. what services are being offered there, like what is it What is it that is being done there? Yeah. Because of course you have a unique selling point. Mm. So, so that when I come and set up my camp here, mm -hmm. I know I'm going to get clients because I did my research. I know these guys do this, these guys don't do this. Like when I come in with, with my own thing, it's going to gain customers. Mm. Yeah. But if you just come in and see, ah, location, nice. I have the money. Uh, let's set up. Mm. Yo. Week one, no one checks in. Week yeah. two, no one checks in. Month two, no one checks in. You're yeah. getting frustrated. Yeah. And, uh, and again, you still have to pay for the premise. You, you have to service the thing. Yeah. It's coming out of your pocket. Yeah. It's costing you. Yeah, but then um, on, on, a, on a sort of converse side of that yeah. is just because you know what the competition is doing and mm -hmm. what they're charging and doesn't is not yes it will help yes but again it's that thing of having a business plan of of course uh, with the with the with the when you do your SWOT analysis mm -hmm. strength weaknesses you know and things like that the yeah. analysis yeah, yeah? yeah. The threats of of the businesses mm -hmm. uh, when you do your SWOT analysis all these are all things that you do mm -hmm. you check out the competition you check out uh, the likelihood of it succeeding you yes. check out yes. how, ma how long these people have been yes. in business but that is still again as i said to people mm. it doesn't matter how much you plan yeah mm. situation qua ground is always different mm. so yes it's yeah. good to look at all these things mm. but the most important thing to me mm. to remember is why you are doing it because if i go and i see there's 10 salons here yes. and i know why i'm doing it yes. and i know that i have my own clients that i'm going to bring with me yes i don't care what they're doing okay you see what i mean mm. i don't care what they're doing if they if there's a row of therapists here massage 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 mm. i'm a soft tissue therapist i'm not like them yeah. So it doesn't matter what they're charging for a Swedish massage. My mm. Swedish massage is more in-depth than theirs. Mm. It might be the same name, but I know for a fact I'd give someone a massage and they'll get it there. I can charge twice yeah. and people will still come. I just have to have the patience to yeah. grow mine slowly. Okay. You see? So you have to have that strength of conviction when mm. you're starting a business to know why. Why am I charging twice as much as that person next door? You know, mm. so to me mm. in business, it's never been about who's next to me or who's doing what in the same area as yes. me. I just need to know that person has been in business 10 years. I'm starting, mm. but I have the same qualifications and I have the same ability to do what they're doing. I'm not going to charge half yeah. because they've got 10 years experience. I'm going to charge the same because I'm offering the same service. Okay. Do you see what I mean? So for me, yes, it's important to look at what other people around you are doing, but never, ever, ever. Mm let it take dictate what you do and that is why you need to remember why you're doing your thing mm. also you need to remember yeah. in this day of um, mm, technology yes. if you haven't got uh, an online presence mm. <laughs> you're setting i think up. it doesn't even matter what you're doing you're you might be the best up. cake shop in donholm yes. but there are people baking at home now yeah <laughs> And throwing it out there. Who have fast. a nice online presence yeah. and are making big business out here. So you with your nice bakery, with your nice shop front, if nobody knows you're there, 
Even with the neon lights. People won't even walk to <laughs> where your shop is. Yes. Don Home is full of bars. Let's just say, I'll yes. talk about Don Home because mm. this is where we That's are. Where we are yeah. But there's a bakery just there on the main road. Mm which you can pass without knowing Aye, it's times. there yes. because there's then an off license on uh, wines and spirits Wines next and to it there's a hardware shop next to it there's it's <laughs> it gets lost <laughs> yeah the other business is swallowed you know what i mean yes but if this person has a strong online presence and engages people yes. and people say where can i pick this up mm -hmm. or can you send it to me because that's what most people are doing exactly. and especially in this day in, uh, of corona how many cake businesses have you seen just come <laughs> up <laughs> overnight and are doing well <laughs> people love cake uh, i love no, cake i know you know every, what i mean every, everyone unleashed the inner baker exactly and guys are doing a wines and spirits it. the same thing you have your business there yeah. most people are too scared to get out you had customers already we spoke to, uh, we spoke about this yes isn't it mm. and you do deliveries my friend you're in business again you're online because you don't you, um you, you're not physically at yeah, the place and exactly. you, you shut the rest of the bar out and you just open a window websites are yeah. cheap to run and free to make it on some <laughs> platforms <laughs> true or false you decide our producer <laughs> cindy yeah. yeah where to the world move but you make? have to have to have to in most industries mm. now have an online presence yep. and you have to have to engage with your people because that moment you take a week off ooh -wee. Aye, Sarah, you're replaced as that soon moment as you take a whole day off these people have been engaged by at least three other businesses Bas. in your industry Bas. Nani walifunga. Yeah, it is just closed for the day. Nine, uh, nikama walifunga. You know what before I mean? Before you know it, somebody is seeking your service elsewhere, 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 elsewhere. And before you know it, uh, customers can be said. Exactly. Uh, so start guys, asking yourself. We've nice. talked a lot about a lot today. I don't even think recapping is, is a <laughs> bit of a problem. But uh, for those who may need, or maybe only just joining us, mm. or for those who are watching this at the end, we've talked about investment trends. We've mm. talked about... Uh, business and uh, faint hearts. Oh We've yeah. talked about <laughs> recipes for business success, mm. uh, habits <laughs> of successful people, <laughs> why businesses fail, yeah, yes. and our last, last final topic, and this is the one that is closest to my heart when it comes to business, and I've been in business many years, and mm -hmm. I've done various businesses in various industries, and is why? Why am I getting into this business? Why do I want to do this? Why here? Why now? Why? Why? <laughs> Just why? Yeah, so you're thinking you want to start a business. You saw somebody doing it, or maybe you saw an idea somewhere, or maybe you've had this thing brewing in your mind for some time, mm. and eventually you want to execute it. You feel like it's time. Mm. So, mm. of course, you have to ask yourself, Okay, I have this. I have this business. I have a food. A food. Um, I've always had this. Like we just talked about cake. Um, I've always loved baking. So yeah, I want to share this with somebody else, yeah. with other people out there. Yeah. So why why am I why am I getting into this? Am I getting into it because I love it, or is because yeah. I want the money, or mm. what is driving me? And the why is not just for more when you're starting. The why is for even when things get hard mm. and you think you want to 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 give up. Yes. Why do I want to give up? Is mm. it because this business is a complete failure? Yes. Is it because I'm in the wrong location? Yes. Is it because there's no market for it in the way that I'm packaging it? Yes. Is it because I am not online enough? Mm. Is it because I'm not engaging my people? Am I giving a substandard service? Exactly. Why? Exactly. I want to expand. Why do I want Where to expand? Want to so expand. always, yeah. always, always. But yes. the biggest thing is remember why you started in the first place mm. because if you keep that at the front of your mind mm. always you will know when to walk away from a failing business sure. and you will know never ever 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 to walk away from a business until that fire dies mm. <laughs> <laughs> na kuni ina need like two years could dry <laughs> So basically, it's dead. It's dead. It's been thrown in the river. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's, there's no chances of it reviving. Of it reviving. Until yeah. that happens, always, always, guys, stay strong. Mm. Remember why. Do not give up. Do not give up. Do be not strong. Give up. Be resilient. Work hard. Don't be lazy.
<laughs> no but excuse. Sacrifice, man. Stay sacrifice. the course. Exactly. exactly. I on the prize. I on 100%. the prize. 100%. Guys, yeah. today has been long. As I said, you needed pen and paper. Yes. For those who've listened all the way, thank you so much. For those who've listened partly and you think someone else might gain mm. from the stuff that we've talked about today, please share. Share. Send the link. Tag them, them here. Tag send them, the link. You know, invite them to Galactic. We, we do this every Wednesday. Mm. It's usually a shorter segment. I <laughs> promise you. Today's been long. <laughs> in depth. <laughs> but I think, I think today's been long, in depth, and, and, and useful because yeah. even I have thought about certain things that I haven't been doing in my personal business mm. that I am going to now sit back and say, okay, mm. Chad. <laughs> you know. <laughs> hey, I've also I've also noted a lot of things like yo today that that notebook was was really <laughs> necessary like the things I've seen today yeah but it's it's good because at least there's there's things again I've seen differently yeah there's things you we, we've spoken about and at least I've had different because the way I think about it and you see like when you think about something and then uh, you say it out loud and then you get response and you're like ah. Yes. Yeah, so I've had like a bit of aha uh, moments, which yes. is which is good. So for me, that means growth. Yeah. And yeah, for you who's been watching, I think it's 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 you being fair to yourself. Just sit down and ask yourself these questions. Yeah. Why is this thing not working? Yeah. Why is this thing not working? Um, am I in the right business? Am I doing the right thing? Do I want to do this? Why mm. am I doing this? Mm. What is this for? Mm. Nona mm. and these questions ask yourself these questions because the moment you sit down and ask yourself you'll understand why your business is failing why it's picking up as fast as it is yeah. what to do yeah because you know sometimes you you last week you just had two clients kidogo shortly now you have 18 people you're constantly on phone you don't even know what to do yeah you're getting overwhelmed yeah so when you sit down and ask yourself these questions you you'll know what next step to make yeah yeah so you, you can plan better again yeah. we've talked about planning what like <laughs> a million times yeah um so yeah pretty much that's that's it i'd only ask you to ask yourself these questions so that you can make the next step successfully namaste people have a good one yo. have a good week and uh, <laughs> don't forget to join us again on friday <laughs> Makasiri or up on friday today been a serious day on friday we are venting yeah, Friday, 9 a.m. We'll that show, we'll Galactic <laughs> Productions. 9 a.m. East African time. Sana, sana. Eat. Eat.